Hi everyone, uh, this is Mohammed, and in this uh, video and the following videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Rust Navigation uh, package or Rust Navigation stack uh, in a simulated environment in Robot Operating System. And for that purpose, I'm going to use the Summit XL mobile robot, uh, which are provided by the uh, Robotnet uh, company um, in simulation. So uh, we're going to use these robots to uh, to dem demonstrate how to teleoperate uh, robots using the keyboard, how to use them to create maps, uh, to perform localization, and to do path planning and control. Uh, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm assuming that whoever is watching this video is uh, having a ROS full installation on uh, on their machines, and uh, in my case, I have ROS uh, Kinetic uh, installed on my machine. And before getting into si actual simulations, we need to install some packages, basically. Uh, so the first thing we need to make sure of is to make sure that all these packages, which some of them are provided by default uh, in ROS. But we just want to make sure that all these packages are already installed uh, on our computer. Um, and we can do that by either by using ROS pack find and uh, like write the name of each package of these or by directly trying to install them using the sudo apt-get install command. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll like try one of these packages. So let's say this one here. So I'm going to write sudo apt get install and then paste this package here. Provide my password, of course. So yeah, so this package is already uh, installed and it's already up to date. Um, yeah, so you will do the same for all these packages so that you have them uh, installed on your computer. Um, it's also important to make sure that these two packages, the navigation and the gmapping packages, are also installed on your computer. Uh, there are two more packages that we uh, need to install from source. And these, pa these, these packages are uh, the Summit XL Sim and the Summit XL Common. So in order to get these packages installed, we will open up a terminal. Um, and then we'll go to our Catkin workspace. So I'm gonna write CD Catkin workspace. So the Catkin workspace is currently completely empty. So we need to um, like uh, create a direct directory in which we're going to place these uh, packages. So the directory is going to be src, right? And then we're going to change directory to src. And now we want to uh, download uh, these two packages. So uh, to download them, we'll go to this tab here, clone or download tab, and then click on this tab here to get the URL, right? So once it's copied, go back to our terminal, and then we write the command git clone, and then we'll paste the first link, and this will download uh, our first package right and we'll do the same with the second package so go to the second package clone it copy its URL then go back here get clone and paste so now the second package is being downloaded so it's uh, a little bit uh, larger than the first one but that's fine um, so now from that directory we'll go to backwards I mean we'll go to the catkin workspace itself so I'm going to write cd dot dot and in this directory uh, we have to make sure that the, all the dependencies of these two packages are already installed in ROS so in order to make sure that this is true we are going to write this command in the terminal I'm actually going to provide this file in the description of this video so I'll get this uh, ROS dependency uh, uh, command and run it from this directory right so I think yeah so since I have everything pretty much installed so I'll, 
or get this message or require the Rust dependency been installed successfully. So now we will write the command catkin make to make or to install the packages that we have just uh, downloaded. So I'll hit enter. This will take a uh, few seconds here. All right, so we're pretty close. Yeah, so we're now good. Okay, be before uh, moving forward, so I just want to write the ls command here. Yeah, so now we have our uh, the vel directory, vel directory, and the src directory. So now we need to change or to source uh, the bash rc file in the development or the devel directory. And in order to do that, we have to write the command uh, source devel set up the bash right so that when we uh, uh, when we write ros cd we basically go to the by default to this directory but i actually don't want to do this now so i'm going to go to the home directory again so cd and tilde this brings me back to the home directory all right so to make sure that all uh, like uh, all of my installation is good and running without any problem, we will launch a very simple launch file provided by the Summit XL uh, simulation package. So I'm going to write ROS launch summit, and by tab this will auto complete. So our launch file is in sim underscore bring up, and then a tab again. So I'm interested in actually uh, looking at the Summit XL as robot and this is actually if we go back to the description of the package this is actually the robot we are looking at now the other one is just summit xl and this one is summit xl s and s stands for steel right so when we launch this uh, file so i'm going to hit enter so uh you will notice that uh, a gazebi simulation is started and I'm just zooming out so you will notice that a gazebo simulation is started with our robot in it so this is the Summit XL robot uh, with the uh, omnidirectional wheel I'm just zooming out again yeah right and we will also so yeah so and it's by default started in a in a simulated environment this is Willow well Garage uh, default simulated environment in gazebo so we'll actually use this one and uh, you'll notice that also Arvis is also like started and uh, some of its sensor some of the sensors of the robot are already you know being visualized in Arvis uh, so for our purpose we will not need actually to look at the RGBD uh, camera so I'm going to disable this for now and we're also not going to look at the PDZ camera so I'm going to disable this uh, for now as well uh, we will use pretty much the laser scan uh, of this robot so I would like to uh, make the laser um, uh, you know dots like bigger than what they are so I'm going to the laser scan here and change its style from flat square to points so we'll get them you know like uh, clear in our uh, Arvis uh, simulation right so in order to save this a change in configuration i'm going to go uh, to file and save configuration so the next time we relaunch the same launch file uh, we will get our started with uh, the required configuration like our configuration uh, so that's it for the first video that was just for installing and getting things started and see you in the next uh, video thank you for watching